Hi, I'm Chelsea Sandoval, and you might recognize me from The Danger Element. You ever tried to take a jacket off on an airplane? Wait, that's it? You get right. stuck in it halfway through, and you're thinking about it before you do it. You're thinking like, I'm gonna get stuck in this jacket or make a fool of myself. Do you mean to tell me that you have no footage of me doing anything? It's getting too hot in here. This is unacceptable. I can't believe this. Who's who is this? Does anybody know who that woman is? This Cody. Cody, do you do you mind? I'm trying uh -huh. to. Uh, do you mind? Uh, I'm trying to do my. Uh, my thing for folks at home here. Oh, uh, sorry, John. It's okay. It's fine. I'm not mad at you. Cody! I'm not mad at you! Huh? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is John Soares, and I'm writer and director of Danger Home. This is the Danger Report. It's the show where I tell you about things that happen or might have some relationship with the show uh, that aren't actually in the show, but are part of the show, or sometimes about things that I did while making the show or that other people did while making the show. And sometimes, you know, just waste, a lot of wasted time happens on this show, too, um, like right now. So, uh, in the big news for the Danger Element, uh, the big news, uh, on the weekend of the 6th, 7th, and 8th of April, 2012. 2012. Episode, I should say, well, wait, let's not take, let's not go too fast, let's back it up. Uh, episodes 2 and 3 screened at the Los Angeles Web Series Festival in Los Angeles. And... Uh, we won two awards. We won one. Glenn Gabriel won one of the awards for his magnificent score that he composed uh, for both of those episodes. And also, I won an award for editing, which I was uh, I was like... <laughs> so, you won all that stuff? Yes. That was great. I was really happy about that. It made me happy. It made me uh, feel good about myself. That's amazing. That makes me amazing. And my friends... Somewhat also close to being amazing, not as close as me. Amazing. amazing by association. Yeah, there you go. Is what you would say if you had to look that up and, and find out what word to say or what term or phrase. Uh, if you had to come up with off the top of your head, though, you would probably say something like, Everybody else sucks except for me. I'm awesome because uh, of the work that I do and, and the care and love and respect that I have for my fellow man. In all seriousness, for those of you who are wondering about the next episode, um, well, we got like, what, like three scenes to shoot for that episode? And one of them's been filmed, so I guess that means we have two scenes? I don't know. I gotta look at the script again. I, I can't even remember what this story's about. Uh, something about a guy who's got a car, like... I, So we're just waiting, it's like a scheduling issue, you know, like, I gotta wait for, pretty much our budget is exhausted, so, like, we're just kind of going old school, uh, no budget, trying to organize these shoots, and it's taken a while, and, uh, it won't be long now, folks. <laughs> Get ready, because, uh, your mind's about to be blown. I don't know. How, what, I don't know. Good? <laughs> okay. Yeah? Yeah. I, I thought so. I yeah. put a lot of work into that little monologue right Yeah. There. Whenever he agrees with something, or when everybody asks him a question to which the answer is... Yeah. Yeah. He says that. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm going to answer some question and answer show questions that have to do with danger. It's up! What's up? Hey! Question and answer show! show.
So here's Danger Element question and answer show questions. Save it, bro. This question is from Irish Cinema 7. How did you guys come up with the whole Knights of the Benedictine Seal? Because it's a really awesome idea. I don't know, there's a lot of backstory uh, to, the, to the Knights of the Benedictine Seal that I haven't put out there in any way, shape, or form. Maybe I'll make a movie about it when I'm 57 years old or something. It's like I came up with this crazy sort of idea for a, for like an unsanctioned Catholic order of vigilantes that sort of loosely follow the teachings of St. Benedict. These people would kind of uh, live on the fringe of society and they have to build a lot of their own stuff, which is why a lot of their stuff looks older and has a different style. That's like they're using found materials to, to build their little underground society. Uh, so that's where that comes from, I guess. Black Cat 12. Dear WHB, when you watch the episodes back to the back to the back, the story flows really well. Like a full length movie. Are you considering editing all the episodes together into a feature film once the series is finished? That would be epic. Black Cat 12. <laughs> it's really funny that you should mention that because yes, I am. <laughs> The script for The Danger Element was originally written in 2007 as a feature-length film. Um, the only reason we're making it as a series is because uh, we, we kind of tried to make the feature back then, uh, but things happened, and it didn't happen. Uh, and we spent like a year trying to get financing for the film that we couldn't really get. So then we decided, uh, let's just make the entire thing as a series, like make, make it in short sections uh, so that like, we could make an episode and then if we couldn't do another one for six years, that's okay. Because we could say it's a web series. So that's what happened. And so when it's all finished, uh, the plan is to put it all back together the way it was supposed to be. Very observant, very astute observation, Black Cat 12. Touché. Touché. Uh, well done. You win this round. But, ah, boy, this acting thing. Yeah. Well, folks, that's it for this week uh, on The Danger Report. Thank you so much for tuning in, and thanks for watching the show, uh, The Danger Element. I hope to see you next time I'm here in this chair in the lawn chair here. I care about each and every one of you, and I hope that you stay in school. Good night.